Hey there guys, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask on Amazon, including Mask for Winners. Looking at the Winners Medical face mask. <laughs> Let's get it in the clamper and see what happens. I swear it's called Winners, I didn't make that up. I wish I did. Oh, that's a good clamp right there. Let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this works, check out that link. But we are doing the surgical mask test here, testing to the American ASTM standards. Funny enough, they are claiming F2100 ASTM level one right there. Huh. If only someone here had a machine capable of doing that. Oh, hi, it's me. All right, let's open this guy up and check it out here. Where's the, where's the name? I like this. Winter Medical Co. Winter Industrial Park, Bulon Road. That's a great name. Shenzhen. Winter Industrial Park. That's so cool. Oh, they're actually using the executive standard uh, F2100 2019. That's, I've not seen that before uh, from China. And they have instructions for use. Oh, it's a little Ziploc bag. It's nice. So this was made for an American audience. It's a pretty well put together mask. It's a little sloppy. Like this is like, you can tell is a little off there, but overall it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's try it. Holds are good. Oh. 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 I'm gonna call this mask something is incredibly sour. It's not just my attitude, folks. All right, now remember, they claim ASTM level one. That means a minimum filtration of 95% here in the United States. And that's exactly what this machine does. I paid for all this stuff just for this very moment. What do you think? Mm. 84.912, 84.192. Now, there is variability from test to test. Things are different uh, depending on you know humidity and like storage of the masks. And you know, who knows, we bought these on Amazon. Maybe Amazon didn't properly store them before they got to us. But a shift of 10 points is way too much. I don't think that these were hitting that uh, number. I will do actually check one thing. Production date. Well, actually, this was produced last July. Holy cow. Um, of 2020. And it says the expiration date uh, isn't until uh, 2023. So if their expiration dates are accurate, it should maintain that filtration until then. And we're off by about 10 points. But that said, I think there are probably better masks out there that you could be purchasing. Sorry, winners. This one's a loser. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. If you like this video, if you're watching it, tell me why in the comments below. And we may be rewarding you if you drop it in the first 24 hours of when we post this video. Also, we will be doing a video every day until the end of the year. We're going to launch at 10 a.m. every day, so do join us, and I will see you on that next test.